When it comes to urban spaces, what immediately pops to mind is all the materials that you find. The wrought irons, the woods, the metals, glass. And today we're in a beautiful urban setting, meeting Leroy Wright to create an urban industrial bookshop. Whoa, Leroy, no wonder you called me. You've got quite a collection. That woe's like you got a fright. Um, well, you say it's an obsession. It makes me feel like I'm a hoarder or something, but I'm not because <laughs> it's because it's neat, right? Yeah. Um, but I think being in the entertainment industry, like to be honest, I love film. I've always had a passion for it, mm -hmm. and being in the industry, you obviously get a lot of titles to review, or you know, people just give you free things at events. Um, these are kind of the old titles. The new ones are still hidden away. As okay. to why I need Ryan's help. So why don't we get started? Absolutely. So, so what are we doing? We're going to create an industrial bookshelf for you, made out of typical materials like metal piping, plumbing pipes, you know, the stuff that people never use except for their drains. <laughs> and we're going to be using a couple of uh, wooden pieces and elements like that just to accent the piece and let it fit in this oven. So pretty much what setting. you're saying is my existing bookshelf is, is not good enough? Out of here. No! <laughs> so what you'll need for this shelf unit is some galvanized piping, a painter's tray, stain, spray paint, metal connectors, turpentine, a cordless drill, a router, screws, and some shelves. Our first step is to clean some pipes and for that, thank you my young man. So you're giving me the dirty work? <laughs> of course, it's for free so you've got to work for it. And whilst Leroy is doing that, I'm going to prepare the wooden shelves. I'm going to route to the edges just to ensure a smooth professional finish. To clean metal pipes, simply use a rag and some mineral turpentine. This removes any glue or grease in preparation for painting the pipes. Once the shelves have been routed, continue to give them a light sanding. This ensures a smooth finish when you apply the tinted wood sealant. Sure, Ryan, <laughs> I think they're shiny enough, right? Do I get your stamp of approval? Looks pretty good, took you long enough, but I'm happy we're there. <laughs> you don't want to disappoint, you know? Because one day I might just be your handyman. Excellent. <laughs> I brought these things along because I'm assuming that we're going to be spray painting these because the silver vibe, as nice as it is, it, it doesn't work for me. True. So in fact, I chose this paint because it's a paint and primer, which is a two-in-one, so it saves you a bit of time. Mm -hmm. And it's quick drying, which is pretty awesome. Gives you a beautiful texture and matches with the whole industrial look. Can I tell you what the best part about spray paint is? It's the sound. <laughs> <laughs> like a naughty kid. While Leroy is busy spray painting the pipes, I'm going to focus my attention on the shelves. We've already routed and sanded them, so I'm going to apply a water-based tinted sealant. Water-based tinted wood sealant comes in a variety of colors. Be sure to choose a shade that speaks to your personal style and decor scheme. Remember, when spray painting, to apply the paint in long, even strokes. The key is to apply a few light strokes instead of trying to cover everything in one go. Too much paint will lead to paint tears, spoiling the final look. Wow, that looks amazing, huh? Good job. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> Very did you enjoy? Did you enjoy that? I did, I did, I did. I think I could have touched up a bit better, but you know what? It's my first time. No, but I think it's pretty good. So, the next step that we need to move on to is assembly, right? You can see we've got these little uh, brackets. What we're going to do, we're going to take each small piece like this hmm. and put it into there. Then we're going to take another one and we're going to also tape it into the top, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to find where we're going to locate it on each of the corner and then the second shelf will go on here. Now this is the shorter one, so uh, this will be on top. So we'll put another shelf here and then the rest go below that. Let's start assembling and then we can move on. That looks good. So what we want to do is keep each of them consistent and you can see this is pointing to the back of each shelf. So make sure that when you place this one it points forward as well, just for a consistent look. So I'm just placing it in the corner here and I've got a couple of small screws and I'm literally just going to drive it through. Right, so that's one done. Three more to go and three more shelves. <laughs> it's 
looking pretty cool so far, right? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> All we have to do now is get the feet done. And it's so simple. You can see there's a shorter piece in here and two brackets that we have to put on. So literally, just insert your shorter tubing and then pop on another bracket, just like that. And best part of all, it's adjustable. Cool, let's do it. There you have it. I think it looks amazing. What do you think? I think it's great. To be honest, like this is going to help me so much with storage space. I mean, we've got DVDs in there, but I mean, a shelf is not just for DVDs. It's for everything that makes it look pretty as well. So I think we did a good job. Yeah, go team, yeah. So guys, go out there and be creative. Make your urban space a masterpiece and use different colors, different textures to suit your tastes and your decor scheme. Okay, you can go now. I need Cheers. to check out my shelf. <laughs>